What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now this is going to be your Thieves Den Vendor Reset. Today is Monday, December 2nd. And yeah, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. If you guys enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to mash that like. Subscribe to the channel. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell. That way you get notified each and every time. I bring you guys a new Division 2 video. But alright, Thieves Den Vendor Reset. Today is Monday, December 2nd. Let's go ahead and do a little overview. I am in DZ West. You can see on the right side of your screen, Thieves Den Vendor available. Hit up on the D-pad. Right now, it is Araldi Holdings. And just for a little bit of reference, the Occupied right now is in... DZ East. So if the Occupy changes, the Thieves Den will change as well. But if it doesn't go over here to DZ West, then you guys have 15 hours and 33 minutes to pick up these items. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. DZ West Thieves Den vendor, December 2nd. He is selling the Orbit. The Orbit. That is the named revolver. That was introduced in Title Update 6. What makes this revolver so nice is Perfect Finisher. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants you 40% crit hit chance and 50% crit hit damage. And that will last for 15 seconds. Remember it does require 4 or less yellows. So just keep that in mind. I'll go ahead and unlock the old base damage for you. Alright, so if you already have an orbit, this one to compare 32,826 base damage. With the build I'm running, it's up to 46.4. So that way you can compare it with another orbit if you've already gotten one. So yeah, there is your named item of the day. Let's go ahead and go through the gear set items. Starting off, Ongoing Directive Mask comes with a red and a blue. Crit hit chance at 3.5 and hazard protection 28%. Remember this does come with one red mod slot, so yeah, utilize it wisely. Um, for the hazard, that's not a great roll and the crit chance is a low roll as well. So if you guys really want that, pick it up, but I would not recommend it. True Patriot Backpack comes with the rainbow one red one blue one yellow weapon damage four and a half armor 9300 and skill power at 219 all of those are fairly low for a backpack it does come with hardened increasing your armor and it has a red and yellow mod slot again I would not pick this one up either hardwired gloves comes with a yellow and red skill power and rifle damage also comes with a yellow mod slot the skill power is okay but obviously you would utilize that rifle damage and switch it to whatever weapon specific damage you are using with that build um, but yeah I mean not not too bad you get a little bit more skill power and you get a yellow mod slot so for all you hardwired builds out there go for it negotiators dilemma holster blue and yellow Armor on kill and skill power. Both of those are fairly low. I would not pick this one up. Yeah, it comes with a blue and a yellow mod slot, but the armor on kill and the skill power are both not that great. So just don't even worry about it. All right. Tip of the spear, mask. Comes with a red and yellow. Damage to elites at 29 and skill power at 257. Remember, it also comes with a red mod slot. For, hmm, I mean, if you guys want to just uh, increase the damage to elites on here and then keep that skill power, you can most definitely transform this into like a raid build or, you know, whatever kind of PvE build you want to run Tip of the Spear. Because Tip of the Spear and Aces together is a lethal combo. So if you can get at least one person to run Tip, one person to run Aces, you should be good to go. 
Speaking of which, the last gear set item is Aces and Eights Knee Pads. Comes with crit chance at 7% and a red and blue mod slot. The crit chance is okay. Uh, the max is 9%, so it's two away from max. But you can reroll it to whatever you want. So if you don't have Aces and Eights Knee Pads, I'd definitely pick this pair up. So overview of the gear set items, what I would use and not use. Um, I would probably just say the Aces knee pads. Um, you could wait and buy some with 9% crit chance, but you can reroll whatever you want on there so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, let's go into the high end items. Starting off, Classic M60. Base damage 14,385, and then with this build it goes up to 20.6k. As Sadist, Jazz Hands, and Recharged. Hmm, I would not pick this one up. The base damage is fairly low. Uh, jazz Hands is not as, uh, as good as running either Extra or Allegro. And Sadist is very conditional, so I, I just would pass. Next, you got your snub nosed over here. Base damage 45,475, and then it goes up to 64.3k on this build. Has killer, optimized, and zen. The base damage is okay, but the talents are kind of lacking. I would not pick up this pistol. Douglas and Harding backpack comes with two reds and a yellow. Weapon damage 5%. Skill power 191 and crit chance at 7%. Also comes with safeguard and hardened and a red mod slot. Um, the two reds and a yellow with safeguard, I, I probably would not pick this up because the safeguard requires four or less reds and you already have three just on this one backpack. So... Uh, you know, to utilize the safeguard and run it efficiently, I'd probably have a better backpack. Araldi Holdings Holster comes with health on kill and a red mod slot. Uh, I would pick this up if you guys want, just because you can roll that health on kill for whatever you guys want. Health, health percentage, crit chance, crit damage, it doesn't matter. But the fact is, is that you can change one thing off of each gear item. And this, this is another one. The base armor is fairly high, and it also comes with a red mod slot. So if you do need Araldi Holdings, come pick it up. And let's finish off with these mods. Defensive Protocol Resilience mod comes with health, blind death resistance, and poison resistance. I would not pick that up. And finally, a Firefly mod for the propulsion slot. This is damage mod for 44.4% damage. Uh, it has a very low required skill power, but that's because the damage is pretty low for the mod. But if you're not running a lot of skill power and you want a little bit more damage on your Firefly, here you go. All right, so that is it for the high ends. Let's see, anything worth noting? Maybe the Uraldi Holdings holster if you want. Maybe the aces and eights knee pads if you want, but for the most part, it's just all about the orbit. Get that perfect finisher, and yeah, that's a lot of crit chance and crit damage off of one talent, so just keep that in mind. But all right, you guys, kind of a slow day for Cyber Monday, but it is what it is. DZ West, Thieves Den Vendor. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.